thing today. I've uh, got some bites, but nothing big enough to hang on. Uh, as you can tell, here's my here's my boat. Just got it a while back. It's nothing special, but it's in pretty good shape for an 81 model. I've been fishing a spinnerbait all morning. Well, I've switched on and off between it and a Senko and some other things. But uh, just can't seem to get anything to eat it. Which on this lake, the fishing's hard enough as it is. Uh, in my first boat ever that I actually had it's uh, nothing new it's an 81 model and uh, it's in pretty good condition to be that old but I've got some bites a time or two but the, the fish was just too little to get that big hook in the mouth It's, uh, I can even watch them. They, the one just hit it right now. And they are so small that the, the lure is like the size of, that they are. And it just, it just broke. I hit that tree over there and bounced it off of it and the spinnerbait broke got one I finally got one let's see if we oh, let's see if we can get it in the boat oh yeah yep we finally got us one let's see here pretty decent size got himself good. Have to get the pliers out. Oh, it's always nice when you get one of these. It's not a huge one, but there we go. First, uh, first fish on the on this boat, right here. We'll take a picture of it. And, oops. Let's see here. Pretty decent catch for uh, first fish on this boat. Could have been bigger, but it could have been worse. Same hole. It's a small one. Oh my gosh. Guess a little bluegill. I guess that's what that is. But, dang it. Hooks bigger in its mouth. I'm done today as far as uh, I guess fishing goes. I've got to get back and do a few things. But uh, glad I got to catch a couple, even if one of them wasn't a bass. Need to clean some of this mess out. I'm trying to figure out 
how to get this live well right here to fill up completely with water. It'll only fill up part of the way. It won't come all the way to the top. It looks like I'm going to have to bring a bucket and fill it up for when I do catch something and want to keep it for a while, pictures, eat, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to head out of here and uh, get home. I got a few things to do. It's 1025 anyways, and I want to get back in before the boat ramp gets crowded with people that thinks they got to swim right in front of it. I'm uh, just about ready to uh, get out of here. Get in the boat strapped down. I hope y'all can see just in the camera. But uh, pretty easy straps for this thing. I don't know how other, other boats work, but uh, this one's pretty simple. I just uh, knot this one an extra time or two to keep this off the ground and uh, make sure that it don't come untied. I guess I'll come back down here in a couple days and see if, if I catch something else whenever I get the chance to get on the boat again. Well, that didn't help a whole lot right there. But, uh, let's see, that strap yeah, hooked up. this thing don't come off off the trailer I don't trust that winch line very much because it's just rope uh, pull my plug out down here this is another thing I can't figure out I've, se I've sealed up about all my holes that I could find as far as around these plugs and stuff but ton of water coming out. Better lock the engine. Uh, don't really know what my problem is with, as far as that goes. Uh, I've caulked around all of the hoses and stuff I could get to and the ports on the outside and can't find no holes in the hull of the boat so I just really don't know and the live well ain't filling up so all the way so I know it's not the water coming out of the live well oh well as, as long as I float and don't sink I'll be doing all right. Uh, get this stuff under here situated. I always carry me a paddle with me. So if I break down or if I just need to move a couple feet, the trolling motor ain't. Don't need the trolling motor my plug in there lay this down so it doesn't get but uh, yeah, it looks like uh, I've got it ready to go but <clears throat> so I guess this is gonna be it till next time uh, I should have another another video up this week sometime when I get to come back hopefully catch more but uh, at least I caught a couple. And I did uh, break my spinner bait. It, it was a pretty good one too. I put another one on and it just, just didn't do very well. But uh, 
I guess I'll see you all next time and uh, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.